Ajit ya? Ladies and gentlemen. Там прошу занять мільника небесного воїнства твого, архіста Тига Михаїла, на допомогу мужнім захисникам наш. А тепер помолимось за нашу спільну перемогу. Всесильний Господи, почуй молитви дітей твоїх, споглянь в час важких випробувань на державу нашу Україну, благослови та зміцни воїнів наших, владу, уряд та весь народ наш і усіх, хто стоїть сьогодні на захист світового добра які протистоять підступному російському агресору і його сатанинській церкві Московського патріархату на землі, на морі та в повітрі. Правдолюбивий Господи, не дай ворогам продемонстрували ту якість, з якої славні для світу ми, наче диво, наче той древ... О божному народові нашому на супротивників подай! І Христом Твоїм охороняй нас, оселю Твою. Спаси Господи людонові нашому на супротивників подай. І Христом Твоїм охороняй нас, оселю Твою. Спаси Господи людей Твоїх. Тільки два прохання. Прохання перше. Будь ласка, тренуйтесь так. We are humbled to be here with you today and seeing all of you with different uniforms, different badges, sometimes even English is different. We are very happy to be here and the, the most happy of us, the soldiers, all soldiers who came here all the way from Ukraine, who are trained, prepared and will get this knowledge back to their nation to be able to save it, to liberate it. This day and all the days where you are with us, all this year, we're defending not only our nation, which is worth defending, believe me, it's beautiful, and we have to defend it because we're also doing it for all of us, for all our values, for our shared ideas, for just for humanity. Thank you for being with us all this time. When you come down to here or you go elsewhere where we're delivering training for the Ukrainians and you look in the eye the men that in just a few short weeks will be on the front lines in Ukraine fighting for their lives and the future of their country, that you really reflect on the incredible sacrifice of those that have gone before and the amazing bravery of the guys that are stood here now getting ready to go into that fight in a few weeks' time. <coughs> You know, these are people who have volunteered to fight for their country. They are civilians, they have been mobilized and they are here getting uh, the training that we can offer. They know that it will never be enough, but the reality is that they listen and they train with a focus that is unbelievable. And so even in the five or six weeks that they're here in the UK, we spend every waking moment that we can training them, they take it all in, and we know from Ukrainian commanders on the ground that it makes a really big difference in the way these units perform once they get onto the front line.